Yo, guys, it is so great to have you watching this video and listening to my voice as I speak right now. Today is a very big tutorial. It's short, but it's essential. It's a shake tutorial that you're most likely going to use on a majority of your transitions. So this is extremely important. I work hard to put out content that I think people will enjoy. And if you're watching this, you're probably a creator like me. So I know a lot of you guys are probably just as aware of how much it can help to just click like and subscribe before the video starts it really helps out the channel and it spreads content that can help people and that I think people will enjoy do that right now and I'm gonna appreciate that a lot thank you also another one of my outlets for producing stuff and like releasing stuff is through music and I'm gonna be releasing an EP on April 8th 2020 which is in a couple weeks so I'm really excited for that I'm gonna have links to that in the description if you guys like my editing I think you'll like that too it's gonna be on all platforms under the name Shilarious all right sweet so let's check this out so this is a transition between two clips that we're gonna do with a shake now you're gonna click the first clip you're gonna add s shake I'm gonna provide you guys the values for all of these attributes and notice my mar my timeline marker is in the middle of these two transitions because we're gonna put a keyframe on the amplitude here okay so amplitude is eight frequency is six and let's go into the uh, X Y and Z so I I turned down all of the X and for the Y we're gonna put this at 42 and the Z is gonna be at 20 the random frequency is gonna be at 1 the wave frequency for Z is going to be 0.5. Tilt shake, 3, 1.5. And that's it for the uh, X, Y, Z, and tilt. Those are the values for you guys. So now you're going to go to the end of your clip A, and you're going to put a keyframe on the amplitude, which is at 8. And then you're going to go 8 frames before that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you're gonna put this at zero. So it's all gonna be chill. And then it's just gonna go kablam. Now, what you wanna do here, I would recommend you save that as a preset. So once you enter those values, save it. And I'm gonna name mine anime beginning, because it's like one of those kind of shakes. Real quick, grab some water or some tea. Make sure you're hydrating. Okay, now you're gonna look at these keyframes and you're gonna easy these. And then select them and go into the graph editor, right click and make sure you're in the speed graph. On the right hand side, you want an influence of like 16%. Around 16, 15 is good. Um, doesn't have to be spot on, but just that kind of area. And then around like 65 for the left side. So that's gonna give a, a pretty smooth ramp into this next clip. And then you're going to do the same thing for the next clip. You're going to add shake. You're going to load the preset that you saved. You're going to click it, add it, and put a keyframe on the amplitude. And then go eight frames later and put this amplitude at zero. And then click U, select these keyframes, go into the graph editor, and then put this left side influence at around 15 or 16 percent and put this right side influence at like 65% around. So now we have this smooth ramp in and out for the keyframes on the shake. And let's, let's peep this real quick. Boom, that's huge guys. Look how freaking smooth this is. And also obviously remember to have on the motion blur and reflect the wrap X and Y. All right, guys, that was literally all I wanted to show you. If you still have questions about how to do that, comment below. I have a tutorial coming out soon about how to make an intro. I'm gonna go over this and more Blurmo curves and I think it can really help you a lot. So stay tuned for that. I love you so much and I really appreciate you watching and clicking like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Let's go baby.